Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, our panel of judges, and everyone present here. My name is Lodmi Abdika. And I am Vanil Parmui, and we represent Mizoram Christian College. Our presentations is based on our survey and research activities conducted at Sadeh College during the 22nd to 25th February 2023, in which 21 students along with five faculty members were involved. We have conducted we have conducted meetings with the Sadea teachers, the NGO leaders, the village councils, and the youth in the village. We also conducted household surveys based on closed and open-ended questionnaire where we managed to find 187 households, which is 81% of the total households in the population, and we managed to indicate that the economy and the majority of the population, the occupation are based on agriculture and the light sector. And here we have the average income per month, which is 28,456 28, rupees. Okay, here we have their valuable community, community assets, which is displayed here. And as per our survey and research data, there are three interlinking problems. Problem number one, economy. The table here clearly shows that 51% of the total household are engaged in agriculture and allied sectors. However, if we look at the average monthly income generated on these sectors, it is insignificant, not to talk of the other identified sectors. As a result, we can conclude that none of the identified sectors have contributed significantly for the village economy. So it means that the village is economically weak in all the sectors. M moving on to problem number two, youth. We have conducted a separate study of youth in the village between the age group of 90 to 40 years. We have also organized meetings and discussions with the KGP and YMA based on our studies. And based on our studies, we have identified three problems. Number one, the youth in CTA do not venture outside the village to seek jobs. And they also lack innovativeness and creativity. Number three, they lack, initi they lack initiative to capitalize on the economic strength or resources of the village. Moving on to problem number three, education. If we look at the table above, out of 187 respondent families, highest educational qualification attained by a member of each household is depicted. And the highest here is that there are, sorry, there are only 5.23% of households having master degree as their highest educational qualification. And this data alone shows the dying state of education in the village. In the next slide, the curve, the curve portrays the overall enrollment in primary school, middle school, and high school of Sete A village for the past five years. And the maximum increase in the enrollment is the primary school, which is mainly due to the change in medium of instruction from Mizo to English. And however, if we look at middle school and high school enrollment for the past five years, it shows a status quo or diminishing trend. This data also concludes uh, for, the for the dying state of education level in Sete'e village. We, have here, we here have the cartwheel display. Since our study reveals the linkage between the three identified problems, which may be explained using this card wheel approach. As the card wheel may rotate frontward or backward, they are all interlinked with each other. These three identified problems are linked with each other. The dismal state of education may have a diminishing impact on the youth, which will further have a effect, negative effect on the economy. Vice versa, the dismal state of economy have a negative impact on the youth, which will further have a diminishing impact on education as well. 
And to solve the identified problems, we may again use the cartwheel approach. As a cartwheel may move forward to make progress and not backward, we had identified the educational sector as a foundation which our solution is based. The project emphasized on reconstructing the educational ecosystem in Sate village, which will further ignite young minds, make them industrious, make them make them industrious, make them think entrepreneurially, and will further have positive influence on the village economy, which is also sustainable. And we have provided three major solutions to solve the identified problems based on the car wheel approach, which are number one, hand holding skill, yeah. number two, vocational courses, and number three, reconstruction of educational yeah. ecosystem. The highlights yeah. of hand holding schemes yeah. are mentoring of students by selected and well trained students from the college, guidance through interaction using various modes of communications, and sharing of learning resources. And we have vocational courses in areas where village has strong potential, basically economic, uh, particularly ecotourism, poultry, piggery farming, and they may have an industrial tour, and provision for uneducated youth as per suggestion for the local authorities, and standardization of I'm sorry, reconstruction of educational ecosystem. We have here standardization of the school administration and management. Here, our chart display, for example, the time office fingerprint system, which is basically for the teachers to show the efficiency and commitment to the school. And educational festival on a yearly basis and beautification and maintenance of the school premises. Our solution will contribute towards achieving sustainable development goal number four and number 17. Goal number four, which is to provide quality education. It has direct linkage. And goal number 17 is partnership for the goals. In order for the project to be successful, we need a strong partnership between various stakeholders. The various stakeholders include in this project are teachers, students, village council, NGOs, adopting colleges, private or public sector, which will provide vocational courses and skill training of rural youths, local MLAs, education department, and the community as a whole. So we need strong partnership for the success of this project with directly linking to sustainable development goal number 17. Therefore, the sustainability of a project it is focused on the capacity building of the village youth as the main concept. And number two, here we have the three projects implemented with heart and soul that may light up only one bachelor generation, but has an immense potential to pass on the baton from one generation to the next. The project is built on a Chinese, famous Chinese proverb, give a child a fish and he will eat for a day. Teach a child to fish and he will eat for a lifetime. And the table portrays financial cost of implementation of the project per year, and the cost of the project per year is 6,72,000 rupees, <coughs> and the total cost of project for three years is 20,000. 20, and to conclude our presentation, we, we can say that the local authority is paid and leaders of civil society organization supported and approved the cartwheel project. Thank you. Okay. เอ่อเป็นตัวเรื่องของเราเพราะว่าเป็นเรื่องที่ปุยะอันกันตาเรียนโปรเซสสักไม่ยังมีความสักการกันหลอกตัดเสร็จอ่ะเป็นส่วน
Mis? Kas on faktisimine? Mis? Mis? Slaida ka mo in slaid pakata ka nil i youth zung zama ka nil unemployed youth ka mo te ka i bisi te na zhu lang in te chan pui da na ngai tuang te ang zong ka nil in zia ping ke xia a Hello? Zhe jing zong tak zong na in zi ka mo slaid da e in zi da ang tu i an cha lai de a ku po le i e zong na zong in an cha lai de a ku po le i e zong na zong in an cha lai de a ku po le i e zong na zong in an cha lai de a ku po le i e zong na zong in an cha lai de a ku po le i e zong na zong in an cha lai de a ku po le i e zong na zong in an cha lai de a ku po le i e zong na Asyik bangkal ya, maka matan. Saya kan cerita kan, itu betul. 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 Thank you, Missouri Christian College.